Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and ooh, y'all, this all cook uh, came out recently. So there's a good chance in California that Skittles and other candies could be pulled off the shelves. According to this article, a new California bill could see Skittles and other candies pulled off the shelves. So. Yes. Yes, let's go ahead and get it. I saw for the nourishment. There is not much reason to consider skittles and other candies, particularly for good, but as food and wine reporting, a proper new California bill is with renewing conversation about a concern of food addictive and has lawmakers pondering whether. Some products need to be removed from shelves until the issue is resolved. And based on that statement, Arthur, that remind me of a video that I did do. You know, I don't know if y'all, some of y'all remember this now. You know, Skittles had a lawsuit back here. Skittles suffered a lawsuit that took place maybe. Maybe eight to seven, uh, eight to nine months ago. I don't think I don't think it's been quite a year yet. If I'm not mistaken, I know it's been some months. I don't think it's quite a year yet. The skill did suffer a lawsuit. I remember doing a video on that. Assembly the bill four four hundred eighteen will ban food containing eatwings or red dye. Yep, red dye, no artificial color that's been associated with the cancer and label wet, as well as other other effects. Skittles use the ingredients which can also be listed as the FD and C where we on the label as do their snack treat include marshmallow, peeps, nurse, hot tamales, strawberry. Yes, near quill, many other strawberry flavor, product, and medication like caught syrup. The van will apply until a manufacturer removed the dye from their product. I don't see why they were using dye in the first place. I didn't, I didn't get the purpose of that anyway. Yeah, but I kind of, I kind of, I kind of figured that was just about because, like I said, uh, like I said, if you go back to that video I, I done. Lost the the, the article was talking about how they were using all kind using the dye and the dye could lead to uh, sickness. Yeah, I remember I remember when that came out. But like I said, I did a video of it. Now, for those who ain't seen that video, I, I, at, the end, at, the, at the end of this video, there should be an index card, a pop up with that video. I make sure um, I. Uh, Leave a link to that video. Let's get back into this one. Let's go down this a little bit. According to a consumer report, the concern comes from studies in which wet dye we demonstrate that wax very large amount of developed uh, tumors in their Thyroid. Other research has connected thyroids and hyp hyperactive in children. Others, however, believe that the bill is overblown. The International Association of Color Manufacturing argues that the human consume the dye only in small quantity that have been associated with the health effect in humans. The Food and Drug Administration has not issued any kind of ban of the ingredients in food. Ooh, they did, did take the steps of prohibiting it use in committed. <clears throat> so the FDA didn't really uh, do too much about the situation or uh, try to look into the situation, take any steps to do something about the situation. So, but, uh, but um, 
when you think about the FBI, they really, they're mine. We need to let them not go there. Consumer Report has asserted that the FDA assessed the grandfather in using using of the diet in food, which is allowed to begin it in 1907. A media ban was instituted in 1990. Now I've been that long. That was really what I was doing. Assembly Bill of 418 will also prohibit the use of titanium dye, titanium uh, dioxide, which act as a coloring plasma gourmet, which can strengthen dough in baked goods. Um, to vegetable oil, which is used some some crushed powder and for hip, proper can be a perceptive of all of them have been linked to potential health consequences in, in the studies. American Chemical Counselor has fired back at the bill, notes that the first release the FDA monitored the regular the amount of titanium that I use in the food. I don't think you people should be using that stuff anyway. Cause some of this stuff, some of this stuff they use what even what even what even sounded good. Especially with that yeah coloring dye they were using. That was, that was a little bit that was a little bit too much. If you look back at that lawsuit that was it came out about this situation, that was a little bit too much. I don't, I don't see why these people, but these people got got a uh, uh, notorious business for putting stuff in food. They ain't got no business anyway. So I'm not really shocked about that. In California, the move forward with the bill, it might force the sweeping change in food production. A few manufacturers will want to cover recipe for just one state if passed. It will go into effect January the 1st, 2025. Well, like I said before, these people got notorious uh, a situation by themselves. They're put stuff in food. They ain't got no business anyway. So, It was coming out. If it, if it was coming harm like that, they should have uh, started people using that a long time ago. This isn't the first time candy has been put in the cross has over the artificial ingredient. A similar comfort in the work over dye number two, which led Mars to dis discontinue red M&M from 1976 to 1987. I guess that's a little unknown fact. But these people shouldn't be using that kind of stuff no way. You ask me, none of the stuff they use for, uh, I don't care whether it's snacks or any food that's out here. They be putting stuff in food in general that's not no good for nobody. That's the way I see it. But let me know what you think about this bill that could be that could that could get passed in California that could cause Skittles and other kids to be up the shelf. Frankly, I'm not surprised that something's gonna happen sooner or later. But based off that uh that article that came out about the Skittles and that lawsuit about the Skittles. You gotta figure it's gonna matter time for something's gonna happen. But, but again, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Elo out.